morning. My pleasure. All right, let's start the thermostat and uh, the filter. Oh, you have a uh, one for radiance. Yes. Gotcha. And it's been off since yesterday, right? Yes. He had the fan on. Good. Yeah, we turned the unit off, but turned okay. the fan on. And to my understanding, you were away. You came home. It was hot. Yeah, and the, uh, the system was frozen me. outside, and I came here. I, he told me it was frozen, yep. I said, I'll come back tomorrow morning. Okay, yep. very good. Where's the outdoor unit? Go that way. <laughs> do, 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 do. Left. Oh, right here. Yeah, okay. and... Is this one for the uh, first floor? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Good old R22. All right, so we have a 48,000 BTU system. That's a four ton system. Manufacture date of April 2006. It's an R22 system. Came back to recharge with 123 ounces. So that's uh, like around seven to eight pounds, I think, somewhere in that range. I have my Testo 557 hooked up. We have a low side pressure. Uh, 59 high side of 206 I quickly glanced at the coil this side closer to the house is a little bit dirty not filthy like wearing a fur coat but a little dirty on that side the other sides appear to be clean maintenance probably has been done in a while since there's a, a lot of mulch at the base of this I have my wired uh, temperature clamps on my suction and my vapor line and if I look I have 10 degrees of sub cooling. You know? Slowly dropping though. Uh, I would like to see this over 60 PSI. Uh, and that's what I would like to see. Superheat only 3 degrees. Yep. Looks like we undercharge. Alright, as we let the system sit a little bit longer dropping down into dangerous territories with our uh, suction side. We're at 51 PSI. Oh, come on. Get out of here. <laughs> We're at 51 PSI with a, uh, an evaporated temperature of 26, 27 degrees. Our uh, subcooling now dropped to four and a half and our superheat, well, it climbed up to 11 and a half. Uh, we do have an undercharge condition here that is indicative of a system leak. What is up with this weird little disconnect? Okay, I'm gonna let these pressures stabilize and uh, make sure that our evaporator coil is not still frozen. This is gonna happen. Not too shabby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 2.2 pounds total a virgin R22 refrigerant into this four ton R22 Weather King system. Off camera spoke at length at different options that are available to the homeowner. Electrification rebates through Green Jobs Green New York, NYSERDA's um, program. You gotta electrify the whole house, the whole house projects only. Adding the refrigerant, discussing the five things you can do when you're low on refrigerant. At the end of the day, the homeowner made the best decision that was right for them, given the options, presented to them at that time. Ladies and gentlemen, present options to your customers, lay all the cards on the table, and let them make the decision. All right, present the options, Ask if you have any questions, and then ask, how would you like to proceed today? Just like that. Not, you know, what are we going to do? Or, uh, what you're thinking about, you know, um, what's in the budget? Don't talk about what money that they have in their pockets. Just ask, what would you like to do today, now? All right, because you're already there. I'm not there as a comfort advisor running an estimate service call. I am there 
providing a service and repair on a non-functional central air conditioning system. And I need to make them aware of options that I can perform right now and options that my company can form, can perform moving forward, including maintenance and service plans that you may offer. A little after, uh, actually 8, 11 in the morning, I have another service call and then I'm going to an installation where we're taking out a ream two-ton R410A system with a hydro coil and we are installing the Bosch IDS 2.1 connected inverter heat pump. Awesome. <laughs>